friends and welcome back. Mr. A here today and I'm kicking off a whole series of videos from our good friends Jasmine, Kenny, Bit, and Byte. And to celebrate these videos I've created a new name tag with all of them on it. Today our friends are going to delve into the world of passwords. Passwords are what computers and computing systems use to help ensure that only the people who are supposed to use the system can. <laughs> You're okay. Go on in. What's the I sign? Go on in. You're okay. Wrong sign, Porky. Okay, go on in. You're okay, Elmer. Uh, I'll open septuagenarian. You open the saddle soap. You open sesame. <laughs> Let's see what our friends have to say about passwords. Hey, Kenny, it's my turn. I'm trying to get to the computer. Sorry, you'll have to wait. What am I waiting on? <laughs> Till the end of time. Till pigs fly. Well, at least until my password screen is off. Hey, no looking. Put your hands over your eyes and turn around. What's with all the secrecy? I can't see. It's dark in here. It's a secret. I'm glad you like secrets. Oh, I like surprises. Tell me, please. Surprises, surprises. Just wait. Tell me what it is. Is it a box? Is it food? I don't smell food. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait. What is it, Kenny? Okay, open your eyes. Kenny, this is not much of a surprise. This is the same old computer. I thought you had a good surprise. Surprise! Surprise! Kenny, please show me the surprise. I think they are your surprise. <gasps> what are you guys doing here? Kenny said there was a surprise and I like surprises. Jasmine was about to see my password, so I asked her to close her eyes and turn around so she could never see my password. I never said it was a surprise. I said it was a secret. No surprise! Kenny, I wouldn't tell anyone your password. I'm your friend. Oh, we don't share passwords. Those are a secret we should keep from our friends. Bit is right. Jasmine, we don't tell our friends our passwords. That's just not a good idea. Yep. Better safe than sorry. But I don't understand. She is my friend. She said she wouldn't tell anyone. And what, what if I forget and she has to help me one day? <laughs> yes, Kitty needs lots of help. Well... One day, she could get mad at you and tell someone else. Or they might forget their own password and use yours instead. Always protect your password. Well, who can I tell if I can't tell my friend? Let's check in with a specialist and see what they have to say. If they can't help us out. Hey guys, I'm Leslie Savelle. I'm one of the statewide computer science specialists. I'm so glad you guys could join us today. Did you meet Bit and Byte? What about Kenny and Jasmine? Let's help them out with their questions. Let's see if we can't help Kenny make a strong password. So a password is a secret word, a phrase, or a group of numbers that a person must know to be allowed to enter a place or use a computer system. 
we're going to learn a little bit more about passwords with this fun password wrap. The NetSmarts Workshop presents UYN, the password wrap, a lesson in internet privacy. P A S S W O R D. Come on! It's the password wrap. Kids, teens, parents, and teachers. It's clicky on the mic with today's main feature passwords. We use them every day. Passwords. Here is what I have to say. Why are they important? How do you create one? How can you protect it? I'll show you in a second. A password protects your information, like your home phone number, your age or location. Yep. You choose one, you have to conceal it. Oh. Nobody can guess it, nobody can steal it. Right. Here's the fun part. Yay. You get to create it. Here's an example, and this is how I made okay. it. I didn't include any information, like my name, my age, or my occupation, or my pet's name. What? Well, at least now, Bit and Kimmy have had a little bit of fun rapping and learning about passwords. Now it's activity time. Let's see if we can help Kenny out. We have to make sure he knows who can know his password and who can't. So in the first picture, we have some parents. In the second picture, we have some friends. And in our last picture, we have a teacher. Which of these pictures do you think that Kenny can't share his password with? If you guess friends, you're right. Kenny doesn't need to share his password with his friends. What do you think Kenny should not use to make his passwords? Should he use letters from the alphabet? What about his name? How about some numbers? Which of these should Kenny not use to make his password? If you guess name, you are right. Kenny needs to make an eight character long password and he needs to use letters and numbers to make it really strong. Let's boogle it! If you look, Byte has several books that he wants to share with you. Today, we're going to talk about an online book. This first book is called Password Please, and it's by Fahishta Mystery. It tells a little bit about a grandmother and her daughter going through and, and visiting one another so that they can share and learn more about what makes a strong password and who they can share it with. The second one is actually a really fun password organizer for kids that you could purchase online or you could do it yourself and make your own out of lots of paper and craft kind of stuff around your house. The last one are Passwords Are a Secret by Anthony Ardley and that's also an online book. So if you like any of these titles, get with your parents and check them out online. We're going to do another activity. We're going to see if we can't make Kenny's password phrase. This is something that you learned in your rap that's going to make it really fun and easy to make a very strong password. We're going to use the phrase, computers are so much fun for me. 
when you use a password phrase, you're going to use the first part of each letter in the phrase to make it really strong. Let's see what this looks like. So in computers, we would only use the capital letter C. In R, we would only use the little letter A. For so, we would choose the big letter S. And then for the much, we would use the, cap the M. For fun, we would use the capital letter F, then we'd use the, the number four, and then a lowercase letter M. And then don't forget, you always want to use a special character, so that would be our exclamation mark. So when we add that all together, we have a capital C, a lowercase a, a capital S, a lowercase m, a capital F, the number four, a lowercase m, and an exclamation mark. That's a good way to say, computers are so much fun for me. Now it's your turn to try it. So I want you to think of a fun phrase that you could remember, something really easy for you to recall. If you could say something like, computers are fun for me, but choose something that works for you, then you can create your own password. Now it's time for you to try it. Hey guys. Come back next time to see what Bit and Bite are up to. We'll see you then. Thank you, Ms. Glass and Ms. Savell. I had fun learning more about passwords and why they are important. I think the most important things to take away about passwords are make passwords a little bit longer, at least eight characters. They're harder to crack than shorter ones. Don't use just dictionary words. Uh, nonsense type words are better. Include some letters, numbers, and symbols. This makes passwords hard to guess. Change your password ever so often. Don't use your nickname or phone number or address as your password. This is things that people know and can easily guess as would be your password. Give your password to your parent or guardian. They'll help you remember it if you forget it. But you should never share your password with a friend or anyone else. Create a password that's unique but memorable. Basically, I guess passwords should not be too easy to guess. The combination is... One. 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 Two. 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 Three. 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 Four. 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 Five. 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 So the combination is one, two, three, four, five. That's the stupidest combination I ever heard in my life! Well, that's all the time we have for today, friends. We'll see you real soon on the next episode of Computers Are Fun. See you real soon! Mm -hmm.